Hooking up a generator the wrong way can destroy your appliances, start a fire, or even kill someone. But done right, it can also be a lifesaver. In this video, I'll break down six safe and legal ways to power your home with a generator and three mistakes that could put lives at risk. So let's go over the safest and most reliable ways to hook up a generator, starting with the transfer switch, manual transfer switch. If you want a safe and legal way to connect a generator to your house, a transfer switch is a great option. In many areas, it's required by law when wiring a generator directly to your home. A transfer switch prevents backfeeding power to the grid, which can electrocute utility workers who believe the lines are dead as they're working on them. Backfeeding can also cause fires. There are two types, manual and automatic. A manual transfer switch is the more affordable option and requires you to manually switch power from the grid to the generator supply during an outage. It's installed next to your main electrical panel and wired to essential circuits that you decide ahead of time, like your lights, fridge, and furnace. When the power goes out, connect your portable generator to an outdoor outlet that's part of the system, start your generator, flip the switch on the manual transfer switch and power your selected circuits. When the grid comes back on again, shut off the generator, then disconnect the power cable until the next time. This setup isolates your home's wiring from the utility grid, preventing backfeeding while avoiding the hassle of running extension cores through open doors or windows. Manual transfer switches are an excellent choice, but they should be installed by an electrician to meet code requirements. So the bottom line, if you have a portable generator, a manual transfer switch is a good choice. It's one of the safest, most reliable, and legally compliant ways to connect a generator to your home. Now before I go on, if you like what you've seen so far and you want to supercharge your hands-on skills and understanding, check out the VIP community in the link below. Interlock Kit. If you're looking for a safe, legal, and budget-friendly way to connect your generator to your house, an interlock kit is a solid alternative to a transfer switch. It allows you to feed power from a generator through your electrical panel while ensuring your home's main breaker and generator breaker can't be on at the same time. This prevents that dangerous backfeeding thing, which can be deadly to utility workers and damaging to your electrical systems. An interlock kit is a mechanical sliding plate installed on your current electrical panel. When the power goes out, you first turn off the main breaker, then slide the interlock plate to allow the generator breaker to be turned on. This setup forces you to disconnect from the grid before powering your home with a generator, making it a safe and code compliant option when properly installed. Instead of a separate transfer switch, the system works by installing a generator inlet plug outside your home, which is connected to a dedicated breaker inside your panel. Once the generator is plugged in and running, you can turn on the circuits as you need them, as long as the total power draw stays within the generator's capacity. One of the biggest advantages of an interlock kit is low cost. It's significantly cheaper than a transfer switch, typically costing between $50 and $150 for the kit itself, plus installation. It also offers more flexibility since you can choose which circuits to power rather than being limited to pre-selected ones, as with a transfer switch. And like other connection options, it lets you use your home's wiring system to avoid the hassle of running multiple extension cords through windows and doors. However, interlock kits do have downsides. They require manual operation, so unlike an automatic transfer switch, you'll need to physically switch over the power when the grid goes out. You'll also have to manage power usage, ensuring that the circuits you turn on on your main panel don't exceed your generator's wattage capacity. The proper installation is crucial, of course, as an incorrectly installed interlock kit could create electrical hazards. That's why it's best to have a licensed electrician install and inspect the system to ensure it meets all code requirements. Overall, an interlock kit is an affordable legal way to power your home with a generator. While it requires some manual effort, it does provide a safe and flexible and reliable power solution as long as it's installed correctly. Generator ready main panel. Now, if you're planning for a long-term backup power source and want a clean and more integrated solution, a generator ready main panel is worth considering. 
Unlike a transfer switch or interlock kit, this type of panel is designed from the start to work with a generator, making it one of the most seamless ways to connect backup power to your home. A generator panel looks and functions just like a standard electrical panel, but it comes pre-configured for a generator hookup. It typically includes a built-in interlock or transfer switch, allowing you to move from grid power to generator power and back again without additional hardware. Some models even have a dedicated breaker for a generator inlet, so all you need to do is plug in your generator outside when the power goes out. One of the biggest advantages of a generator-ready panel is simplicity. If you're building a new home or upgrading your electrical system, installing one eliminates the need for a separate transfer switch or interlock kit later. Everything's already wired and ready to go, making the switch to generator power much smoother and safer. It also avoids the clutter of external add-ons, giving you a cleaner, more professional setup in a smaller space. However, there are some drawbacks. Upgrading to a generator-ready panel isn't cheap, especially if you're replacing an existing panel. It also requires a licensed electrician for installation, which adds to the cost. It's a great option for portable or standby generators when a new or replacement panel is already in the cards. So the bottom line on this one, a generator-ready panel is a smart investment if you're planning for reliable backup power and want a built-in code-compliant solution. While more expensive up front, it makes generator use easy and more streamlined too. The extension cord option. Now, if you need a quick and simple way to power your home during an outage, and maybe you haven't had time to hook up something else yet, using heavy duty extension cords to connect your generator directly to items is an option. It's the cheapest and easiest method, of course, but also the least convenient and the most limited. Now to do this safely, you need outdoor rated grounded extension cords. That means three prongs with a gauge thick enough to handle the power load. So that's at least 12 gauge and preferably 10 gauge for larger items. You simply connect the generator to whatever you want to power with this cord. And that could be a fridge, freezer, space heater, anything with a cord that you could normally plug into the wall. The biggest downside is that this method only works for plug-in appliances that use 120 volts. You can't power hardwire systems like your furnace, well pump, or ceiling lights. Nor can you power a stove or dryer since these need 240 volt power. You also end up with cords running through windows and doors, which is certainly isn't ideal, especially in bad weather. Another issue is overloading. If you plug in too many appliances or you use a cord that's too thin, you could trip the generator's breaker or even cause a fire. Bottom line here, if you only need to power a few essentials and don't mind dealing with cables everywhere, extension cords are a good temporary solution. But if you want to power your home's circuits directly, you'll need a transfer switch, an interlock kit, or a generator-ready panel. Home standby generator. For a permanent, fully automatic backup power solution, a home standby generator, often called HSB, with an automatic transfer switch is the best option. These generators are hardwired into your home's electrical system and typically run on natural gas or propane. As soon as the power goes out, the switch automatically starts the generator and switches your home over to backup power without you doing anything. When grid power is restored, the system switches back and the generator shuts itself down, all without lifting a finger or even being at home. Because these systems connect directly to the utility grid, many areas require utility company approval and an inspection before installation. This ensures the setup is compliant with local electrical codes and doesn't interfere with grid operations. Some power companies even offer incentives for installing standby generators, especially in areas prone to outages. The main downside in all this is cost. A standby generator system with installation can range from $5,000 to $15,000 or more, depending on size and complexity. It also requires routine maintenance, including oil changes and periodic testing to ensure it's ready when needed. HSBs also use a lot more fuel than a smaller generator, so you need to keep that in mind. Bottom line here, if you want hands-free, completely automatic backup power and are willing to invest in a permanent, utility-approved system, a standby generator is the most reliable and handy option. It's expensive, but it's the closest you'll get to an uninterrupted power supply during an outage.
the inverter generator option. Now, if you need exceptionally clean, efficient, and portable backup power, an inverter generator with a dedicated sub-panel is a great option. Inverter generators are quieter, more fuel efficient, and safer for sensitive electronics compared to traditional portable generators. When paired with a dedicated sub-panel, they can provide power for selected circuits in your home, similar to a transfer switch. A dedicated sub-panel is installed alongside your main electrical panel and wired to essential circuits. Instead of powering individual appliances with extension cords, you plug in your inverter generator into an outlet plug outdoors, and it supplies power to the circuits in the sub-panel. This means you can run lights, outlets, and small appliances without needing a full house generator setup. But the main advantage of this system is flexibility. Inverter generators are portable, so you can use them for camping, job sites, or emergency home backup. They also provide, and this is important, cleaner power, which is safer for computers, TVs, and other sensitive electronics. Today's largest portable inverters have increased in size a lot, and they top out now at around 11 or 12,000 watts. So they can't handle heavy loads like central air conditioning or electric heating while powering other things in your home, but they can cover most things. Illegal and unsafe methods. When it comes to hooking up a generator, cutting corners can be deadly. Some methods might seem like a quick fix, but they come with serious risks, including electrocution, fire hazards, and violating electrical codes. No matter how tempting it is to make it work, avoid these dangerous and illegal generator connection methods. One of the worst and most dangerous mistakes is backfeeding power through a dryer outlet, often using what's known as a suicide cord, a cable with two male plugs, one on each end. While this might seem like a way to power your home without a transfer switch, it's incredibly dangerous because you could send power back into the grid if you forget to shut off the main breaker. This method is illegal and never safe under any circumstances. Another major hazard is modifying an electrical panel without an interlock kit or transfer switch. Some people try to cobble together a connection by directly wiring their generator into a panel without the proper safety equipment. This is a code violation because it creates a high risk of fire and can damage your generator, appliances, or entire electrical system. Electrical panels are designed to be used with the proper equipment and tampering with them puts both you and your home in danger. Even something as simple as using the wrong type of extension cord can cause a major safety issue. Non-grounded or undersized extension cords are a shock and fire hazard because they can overheat, short out, or fail under heavy loads. Always use heavy-duty, outdoor-rated cords with proper grounding to avoid accidents. So what will you choose? If you need a full home automatic solution, a standby generator with an automatic transfer switch is your best bet. For portable generators, a manual transfer switch or interlock kit keeps things simple and safe and convenient. Using extension cords works in a pinch, but it comes with limitations. No matter what, Never backfeed power through an outlet or modify your panel without proper safety equipment. Got more questions about generators or any other hands-on home improvement or woodworking topics? Click the VIP link below to learn like you've never learned before.